And away they go from the 1400. Turbo Torch was slow to go. First one out is Kingsview and a strong along the inside. In other words, Queen Delta is right there and Honky Tonk's going around them. Honky Tonk's going off to lead them. They're followed by Queen of Thrones and then comes Burn. Stormy Babes in the red silks on the outside of runners and then comes Perega. They're followed by Thunder. On the outside is Playful Time. A lot of fighters early on. And then we drop back further in the field to Turbo Torch, is about seven or eight lengths off the leader. Honky Tonk leads it. Queen Delta is second and the favourite, in other words, at the rail third. Stormy Babes in the red and then comes King's View. On the outside of that, starting to pass horses around the outside is Burn. Then we drop back to Tunda. The reg is about seven lengths off the leader. Queen of Thrones on the inside, then Piece of Poppy. Top of the lane, 400 to go, Honky Tonk. In other words, going for a split down the inside and Queen Delta's right there. In other words, and Queen Delta, Queen of Thrones tries to run on. But in other words, hit the front over the last 100 metres. And in other words, it's going clear. Queen of Thrones runs on. But in other words, it's going to scorch on by three. Second place will go to Queen Delta and then Queen of Thrones and Honky Tonk. Number nine, in other words, is Victorious, the filly by Trippy for Sean Terry and Chris Vanikag. Bernard Fader, and she wins it well, bred by Clava Flay Stud. In her first start, she was beaten by She's a Leader, but she was very green on that day and went down to the start, and then Bernard turned her around just to show her the Scottsville track, but she comes home lonely tonight, and she wins by three, three and a half lengths. Queen Delta number 11 runs second. Queen of Thrones into third position. Honky Tonk runs fourth. Then Barrega. Turbo Torch was slow to go. Followed by Tunda. And then Piece of Poppy. Further back in the field is Burn. And then came Playful Time. Stormy Babe. We'll take a look at that head on shortly. And the winner makes an early move down the inside at the top of the lane. Number nine in other words. And then starts to drift, still very green. The stick will come out in the left hand. But number nine is home and hosed in the lucky last. Pays up at 170 a win, one round a place. That's what it's currently showing. And in other words, is victorious. We're back at Gravel. It's a day race meeting on Sunday. Until then, Craig Peters signing off. Well, in other words, as one uh, with great authority, she had debuted in sparkling style and uh, priced up at restrictive odds and everyone was going to say, would she handle the surface? And it was everyone's doubt, if I can use that word, but this is a very nice filly. Yes, uh, I must say well done to Dijon. Um, she's blossomed here in Durban. She was quite immature when, we, when she left Joburg and uh, she came on beautifully with that first run. Um, Bernard rode her first time out and uh, she, she ran so well, we, we kept him on and... You know, he's brought her home tonight, not that he had to do much, but um, she's come through it nicely and just well done to the team here. Everything going well? Yeah, all no complaints and uh, I think this filly next season, she's yeah. probably going to be alright because uh, she just seems to have improved so much since, since when I lost her. Yeah, Moses has got something for you because Chris is not here. Well done to Moses from Betting World. Thanks, thanks, thanks very much. Thank you, thanks okay. a lot. Let's speak to the winning rider. What's this filly like? She's a lovely filly, you know, um, I was very fortunate to get the ride on her early on and uh, she ran a smart race first time out and then uh, I worked her uh, after that and she came in a lot from the run and uh, just grateful for the ride. Well done to Sean and his whole team. She's a lovely filly, she won with a bit of authority today and uh, I'm sure she's the kind of filly who could easily um, step up yeah. her class from here. Yeah, it looks like it. You know, she came out rolling and you just decided to ease her and get her to relax and, but when you asked her to quicken, it looked like it was all there. Yes, left. You know, luck, like I said to Sean when I came back up, if I had led, I probably would have won easier. Yeah. They were just going a little bit too slow for me. And uh, yeah, she quickened up really nicely and she won well. Well done to um, uh, 
all the sponsors and to my sponsor too. Thank you very much to Vasco and uh, the whole team and well done to um, Chris Van Kirk and uh, yeah, everyone. Just such a lovely day here today and well done to Green Street Bloodstock. They've, they've got a few youngsters here. They've got the vibe party going, which is really nice. We Are you going to stick your head in? Definitely, but not, not, not too deep because I've got rides tomorrow, but uh, we're going to go and have a little bit of fun. It's just well into Justin and his whole team um, for Mark. Um, really doing a fantastic job. You know, the whole, we, the whole thing is to try and get youngsters into the game and let them come and uh, enjoy a bit of vibe, sort of party, sort of pre-drink sort of thing, and slowly introduce them to racing. Very grateful for Gold Circle also. They were kind enough to give the youngsters a 20 bucks um, voucher. And it's just nice for them. I just hope the guys have won a little bit of money today and nice to have a winner on the day. Well done to everyone concert. Well done, Bert. Thank you. Yeah, well done to Chris Van Eekirk. He's got another superb filly here. Sean buys him some wonderful horses. And Clava Flay, the breeders of this filly, and uh, in other words, has really put it together in fine style. That concludes our meeting. Well done to Stan Ellie for uh, what he did for his clients, including the uh, perennially lucky Bram van Hastien and his partners. And, uh, of course, uh, third place as well to Stan Ellie. So he had a great race. The runner-up ran a terrific race. And uh, that's the big race, the Betting World 1900. We'll be looking to see where people start going now to get into Vodacom, Durban, July. We race again on Sunday. Paul Lafty from the Winner's Circle.